Hello friends, in this operating system class we will see the secondary storage structure and the overview of disk structure. Under this class we will see the magnetic disk that is the detailed view of magnetic disk after that the CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk then we will see the IO buses, host controller and disk controller. Secondary storage structure under this we are going to see the structure of magnetic disk. Okay, the magnetic disk provides a bulk of secondary storage uh, for this modern computer system. Okay, and here each disk plotter, this is the plotter. Okay, plotter has a circular shape like CD. Okay, so all the plotters are circular shape like the CD and the size of this CD is 1.8 to 3.5 inches. Okay, here the two surface of plotters covered a magnetic material. See both the top side and bottom side are covered by magnetic material which stores the information by recording it magnetically on the plotters. Okay, all the information will be stored on the surface of plotter. A read write head placed above each surface of uh, plotter. Okay, see, this is the read write head. So, uh, in a plotter, we can store the information on both sides. Hence, two read write head will be placed for one single disk. Okay, see here one read write head and here one read write head. And the read write heads are attached to disk arm. See, this is the disk arm. All the head will be attached to the disk arm and that will move all around the plotter right next the surface of plotter is logically divided into circular tracks see this the circular uh, these are called as tracks okay so how many tracks are there there are thousands of tracks okay thousands of uh, tracks will be there in a single plotter okay and the tracks are subdivided into sectors. See, these are the sectors. This particular space is called as sectors. And the set of tracks that one arm position makes up a cylinder. See, this is one cylinder. Okay, like this. There are thousands of concentric cylinders in a disk drive. At each track may contain hundreds of sectors. Okay, for a single track, we are having hundreds of sectors, right. And the storage capacity of the disk drive measured by gigabytes, that is one single magnetic disk, we can store gigabytes of data. If this magnetic disk is in use, then the drive motor spins it with very high speed and the rotation speed is from 60 to 250 times per second. And this speed will be specified in terms of rotation per minute which is otherwise called as RPM. Okay, RPM means rotation per minute. That is per second the motor will spin this particular uh, disc with uh, 260 to 250 times per second. Now the disc speed has two paths. The first one is transfer rate that is how much data will be transferred and position time. Okay, position time means the time taken to uh, reach the head to this particular sector that is the position time. The first one is transfer rate. Transfer rate means data should be transferred from magnetic disk to computer. This is magnetic disk, this is computer. Here main memory and CPU are there. Okay, that means the transfer rate means the data transferred from magnetic disk to computer uh, per unit time. Per unit time how much data will be transferred between magnetic tape to computer is called as transfer rate. And second one is positioning time or random access time which consists of again two parts. The first one is seek time and second one is rotational latency. Okay, first let us see what is seek time. Seek time is nothing but the time taken to move the disk arm to desired cylinder that is called as seek time. That is 
the read write head should be moved to particular data location in the cylinder right is not it that is called as seek time and next one is rotational latency that is the time taken uh, for the desired sector to rotate the disk head ok. The disk should be rotated with very high speed. So, uh, the read write arm is here and the uh, location may be here. Now, the disk should be rotated to this position where the read write head is present ok. So, that is called as rotational latency that is the time taken to rotate the disk towards the read write head ok. Here the typical disk can transfer several megabytes of data per second and they have the seek time and rotational latency in terms of milliseconds that will not take that much time ok. Uh, sometimes the read write head will damage the magnetic surface ok. The read write head is here this may be uh, uh, affect this magnetic surface and this is called as head crash ok. Once the head got crashed then we have to remove this particular platter this particular disc ok. Hence this uh, should be the removable disc. If it is requ uh, required then we can easily replace with the different disc ok and the new disc will be covered with plastic case ok that should be prevent the uh, prevent from damage while it is not in the disc drive. Suppose if we want to replace this particular disc with new disc means that new disc will be covered with the plastic case to prevent the uh, damage. The CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray disc are also removable disc and the removable flash memory devices uh, which are known as flash drives and these are called as solid state drives. IO buses, the buses are used to, to connect the computers with the disc that is disc will be connected to computer with main memory or CPU through only the IO buses. So, all the data will be transferred be between these two devices only through these buses ok. A disk drive attached to the computer by a set of wires, buses are nothing but wires which are called as IO buses and in our computer system we are having several kinds of buses. The first one is ATA, ATA is nothing but advanced technology attachment. And second one is SATA that is serial ATA that is advanced technology attachment. And next one is the very popular USB that is universal serial bus and the last one is fiber channel that is FC ok. Uh, these are some of the buses which are used in our computer system to transfer the data. All the data transfer between computer and disk are controlled by the controllers. Ok, here we are having two types of controller, first one is host controller, second one is disk controller. See host com controller is available in the computer. Host controller and disk controller is available in the disk side. Now the host controller will send the command via the messages to the disk controller. Ok. The host controller will send the command through message to this disk controller ok. Now the disk controller is having its own catch and the required data will be transferred to this catch by this disk controller. The data will be transferred to this catch ok. From this catch the data will be transferred to the host controller that is host system or computer system ok. So, the data will be transferred from catch then the speed will be very high that is electronic speed ok. Uh, suppose if there is no catch here means the transfer rate will be very much reduced. Up to this we have seen uh, the secondary storage structure uh, that is overview of disk structure. We have seen the magnetic disk in detail. 
after that uh, the IO buses, IO buses are used to transfer the data between the disk to computer and the host controller and disk controller. Right. Uh, in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit. Thank you.